hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with avatar the last airbender episode number 11 and 12 all right the previous episode uh it was a very uh what can i say quite a surprising episode episode number 10 that is which was uh surrounding like you know which was a story surrounding jet a new character now like obviously we like Ang, Katara, they were unable to actually realize what type of a person he was. Even I was a bit, like, you know, uh, surprised when I actually saw what he was doing, you know. And uh, it turns out that his sense of justice is a bit different and a bit mm, not correct, in a way. The, the actual thing that Katara and Ang is trying to do is miles apart from what jet thinks justice is and we kind of saw how like you know he tried to uh mix in people who were not even any way related to the whole war you know the normal citizens and how he said that oh like they're from the fire nation so they deserve to die i don't care if if they're like civilians if there's some other people who are not even involved in it i don't care they're the fire nation they need to die so obviously that's wrong no, that's not something that like you know like a person with a correct sense of justice to, to do but as i said in the previous episode that he like you know like he, i think he was like like he did not have proper guidance in his life and he went on the wrong direction because as he said like you know his mom and dad were not there and all so yeah like that kind of makes me feel like maybe you know like if if circumstances were different he might have been a completely different person he might have been a really good person with the you know correct sense of justice but unfortunately that's not what happened so yeah i'm not sure what was going to happen to him are we going to even meet him in the future you know episodes or not because like you know he was like he did not see what actually happened he was just frozen by katara and they went away so obviously he's going to run away from that place and who knows maybe he'll again start go, like you know doing his own things like you know with his own uh what can i say like wrong sense of justice and uh, i don't know let's see like usually in, like you know these type of situations we get to meet these characters in the future episodes so who knows maybe we'll meet him in the future and i'll wait for how he turns out to be if he mends his ways or if he remains the same like that's something like to think about later but yeah so anyways uh, without further ado let's get started this is episode number 11 of avatar the last airbender so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Go. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> okay. I wonder when they'll reach the North Pole. Because I'm sure they're going to, they're not going to show us, like, you know, them actually going there. I'm, I'm sure there'll be some kind of a skip at, at some point. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take this off to avoid spoilers. Ah. Uh. Uh. Wait. Chapter eleven, the great divide. Okay. What the? <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking, why the hell did he? <laughs> oh. Uh, 
don't question Saka's instincts, you know? <laughs> we saw in the previous episode what happened. Why don't you go and... What the? Uh, tarp. Uh, yeah, tense, whatever. <laughs> Damn, Ang. Whoa. Okay. That's Avatar's job. <laughs> um. Appa is bullying Momo. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> yeah, true. What? Really? Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. What? Oh. 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 Oh, great. What are they doing here? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's pretty courageous. He's just like, you know, trash talking them in front of them. <laughs> Oh, that's the Earthbender. <laughs> yeah, true. Or you can just go with Ang. Oh. Oh, great. Uh they're going to f okay. oh my Okay. Yeah. Um, will he be able to? Wow. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh great, another bad news. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, like you did now, just like you know, like fill your stomachs now as, as much as you can. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Hmm. Okay. Angry. Um I hope we are not sacrificed here. Okay. What sacrifice? What? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Oh! What is this? What is that thing? Anteater? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Canyon crawler. Great. Oh no, he cannot uh, brand here. Yeah. We are stuck here. Maybe Ang can use his air bending and I don't know. Like, what? What will he even be do? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Well, you can't even walk here. You're strapped. Uh Okay. Okay. I think that's wise of them too. Like, you know, because they, they won't do their job together. So I guess that's the only option here. Okay. Who will Ang go with? I'm guessing he's going to kind of, he knows airbending so he can just fly around, you know. Yeah, there you go. He's kind of like look, keeping an eye out on everyone. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know what I realized? <laughs> Saka and Katara, they're basically <laughs> these two. Like, you know, the two tribes, in a way, always at each other's, each other's throat. But they obviously, they're brothers and sisters. They, they, you know, like, they love each other. But, oh no. Great. 
I think they also brought food. The Zangs also probably thought the same thing and brought. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. Redemption ritual. Oh. Let's see what the Zangs say. Like, you know, like, I'm sure the Zangs have some different story. There you go. They also brought. <laughs> wow. Wow. History is fabricated in a lot of ways. I'm sure they, they're going to say some kind of other different story. Okay. Oh, great. So who is correct? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh god. No. Yeah. Hmm. Oh really? Uh kind of. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're still not. Oh my god. Oh no. They are getting influenced by this. Ugh. Yeah. I'm sure something completely different happened from what they're actually saying, you know, and both of it got fabricated in their own way. Oh, God. Oh no, Katara and Sakal is also...
Oh no. No, they're going to fight against each other now. Great. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Damn, this old man can move. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Damn, the food, food, food all is all over the place. Great. <laughs> oh, wait, what is it? <laughs> 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 oh, God, run the Canyon crawlers, I think that was their name. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this guy is freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, not not working. Oh, okay. Will that work? Nope. Why don't they? Uh, oh. Uh, but there are too many of them, I think. Oh god. Yeah, this is a mess. Okay, why don't you take the food and kind of like you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, interesting. I don't, I didn't think that he's going to do that. Oh, nice. I thought they were going to lure them with food, you know? Oh, they're going, oh, nice, nice. I, I I was it, it took me a little while to actually understand what they're doing and now I get it. Okay. <laughs> Good job. That was intelligent. Oh. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Great. I'm just waiting for like, you know, the punchline of this, like maybe it's going to be some kind of stupid stuff. Oh. Oh. Huh? Eight? <laughs> what the hell?
And he got her. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> okay. Was that really true or was, did Aang make that up? I'm wondering now. Or maybe that is really true. What? <laughs> 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 I was just saying that. I knew there was something like you know fishy about that. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, you know, suddenly, okay, that's the end. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. Because, um, very conveniently at that moment, Ang remembered that, oh, I knew these two people and I was there. <laughs> I knew it, that it was some kind of a trick that Ang actually made up on the spot just so that, you know, they can uh, become friends again. It was like a what do you call those? Those good li white lie, I think they're called. Yeah, a white lie, kind of. So yeah, like everything's good now. Like they they're friends, I guess. And um, I hope they remain friends because they still s seemed kind of, you know, kind of like at. Um, but you know, like the the. They have just become friends so it, it might take time to actually normalize the situation be between them but yeah like i hope everything goes well and uh, now who knows <laughs> what the actual story was you know like ang himself kind of made up the story and the two the different stories that like each tribe kind of said were uh you know had their own versions like uh, like each tribe kind of said it in their own way and kind of uh, like you know interpreted it in its own way and like the history got fabricated so who knows like who knows maybe one of the stories are is actually correct or maybe none of the stories are correct <clears throat> excuse me maybe none of the stories are correct maybe like you know it was something completely different so yeah now obviously the like, ang was able to bluff his way out because it has happened a hundred years ago because if, if this was something like 10 years ago or something he probably wouldn't be able to do it because he said like you know he completely changed the two characters who were actually involved in the story into little toddlers and said that they were basically playing a game and <laughs> you know like if this was something that happened 10 or 15 years ago he wouldn't be able to do this because it happened a hundred more, you know years ago he was able to make up this kind of uh, a situation and uh, able to trick them so like nice like that was really <laughs> you know uh, good thinking of ang so yeah this episode so first of all um as i kind of said you know like saka and <laughs> katara <laughs> like seeing these two tribes kind of reminded me of them both like even though like you know like the relationship between Saka and Katara is definitely different from the relationship of the two tribes because the two tribes are were really at each other's throats trying to kill each other obviously Katara and uh, Saka are not like that but the way they kind of you know bicker with each other and uh, like you know disagree with each other that's kind of similar to the two tribes but obviously like deep down inside they they're siblings and they like you know care for each other in their own way but uh yeah but that thing is not was not there in in the two tribes so that's how they are technically different but at the same time the two tribes and katara and saka 
kind of same it is uh, like you know in their own ways and uh, yeah and okay so um it was really nice to see ang actually like you know uh, helping them in this way because uh, as he said like you know he's the avatar and he is supposed to uh, make people get along uh, <laughs> even though in the end he well you know like use a desperate measure to actually make them uh, friends with each other he just said a little white lie but still you know like i think that would help them in the long run because like like these are like you know the things that they are talking about the past that they're kind of dragging with uh, themselves are something that happened 100 years ago so like i don't think that it even matters what happens a hundred years ago so they're kind of dragging that past alongside with them they don't even know which version of the history is correct and they are kind of bickering amongst each other kind of thinking about yeah like a hundred years ago this happened your ancestors uh you know wronged my ancestors so we are also uh, at bad like you know like we have also bad blood between each other and all this stuff like that's pretty like you know uh i don't know like that's pretty uh what can i say stupid in my way like like you know like fighting amongst each other because what once your ancestor did to you know my ancestor something like that and they don't even know what actually happened if, if they had any kind of like you know uh, like proof that yeah this is something that really happened i could kind of understand but they are just like you know fighting amongst each other uh, based on a story which neither of them knew if it was even correct or not so i think that's pretty stupid and uh, like you know the thing that ang did here obviously is he t t told the white lie but that will help them kind of get along with each other and you know like in the future they'll like you know the future will be a lot better like like they won't be fighting amongst each other at least they'll be helping each other and it will help them in the long, long run so yeah and uh, <clears throat> yeah and another thing that they did in this episode is the trick to actually use the uh, canyon crawlers to get them out of that place is <laughs> it's pretty interesting i thought when they were taking the you know the food uh, thing uh, the food sack i thought they were going to use that food sack to kind of lure them around to the other side and they would get away from that position but good thinking uh, like you know and did like you know something really intelligent here he basically used the food as a bait for them to uh, you know carry them out of the canyon and i think that was really you know uh, quick witted of him to do so yeah and uh, yeah, what else and uh nothing much to say about this episode because this was basically the huge misunderstanding you know like nothing major happened and uh, i'm trying to find okay the whole misunderstanding now as they say like you know like i think there's this what is it called a game i think there's this game where you uh, whisper into one's ear you know kind of say some word and the person again whispers it to another person it kind of goes around and like you know as it kind of circles around and it comes back to you again when you hear that word you know it it's, it's it becomes a completely different word like you know the, the the information that has been passed from one person to another kind of gets changed in the way and it comes out as a completely different word so a similar thing like that must have happened here because this is something that happened 100 years ago so like you know like most probably like who knows maybe what ang said maybe like you know something like that actually happened obviously they were not toddlers they they were like i'm sure like they were actual like you know adults but most probably something harmless like that was something that actually happened maybe they really were friends with each other and like you know like whatever happened there like both the tribes kind of talked about it and as like you know it, like one generation went and like you know came and go and then another generation came uh, it being <clears throat> transported from one person's ears to another it completely became, became a different thing which made them hostile against each other 
and both of the versions of their story were like you know completely different so yeah so in my opinion whatever ang did was very correct because he basically made them uh, forget the you know the grudge from their past because fighting for a reason which you don't even know if it's true or not is pretty uh, you know like it's not uh, it's pretty foolish so good thing for ang that he was able to you know change the f future of these two tribes in a way uh, and i'm sure like you know after this they'll work together i hope so at least <laughs> you know they'll work together and you know help each other um, coexist and forget the difference and become good friends so yeah Mm. yeah that was it nothing much uh, to say about this because this was basically that nothing else is here so yeah okay so let's this was episode number 11 okay let's start with episode number 12 mm. <clears throat> just a sec all right so Let's start with episode number 12. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> okay. Uh. All right. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, uh, chapter 12, The Storm. Oh, what's happening? Is it dreaming or something? It looks like a dream sequence. What the? What type of a dream is this? Yeah, this is a dream. Oh god. Whoa. God. <laughs> Does he sleep with his weapons out? Mm. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Must be something about... I don't know. All right. Oh. What? Oh, great. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> what?
from the north. Oh. No, come on. Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've seen Zuko before. He's not like that. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Yo, that was rude. <laughs> oh the storm yeah oh this was in Aang's dream you know you know like the, the lightning that was happening Double. Oh, Saka's going to take that. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, calm down, guys. Oh, God. Uh, oh, boy. Well. <laughs> I don't think he's going to Yeah Okay, well Give him some time, you know Oh, he knows. <laughs> what? Oh no. Yeah, the dream is also kind of bothering him. Oh god. Oh! Neither are you. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, it's raining here. Damn. Mm. Oh, what? Oh.
Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Made it up. <laughs> Okay. For some time. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they predicted it completely. The whole Fire Nation attacking. I wonder why he got stuck in that ice for 100 years. Hmm. Oh, is that him? I think so. Yeah, so he got his burn mark after this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. Wow, great. And yeah, so this is Hmm. Ha. <laughs> oh. What? Wait, what? Usually, like, you know? Uh, oh, God, Jinchu. What's, what, what's up with him? What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no.
Oh boy. <laughs> well, at least one person was like, you know. Yeah, I. Oh my god. Is this when he gets the burn? What? Oh my god! It was his dad! Damn. Oh boy, what the... What? Okay. What? Did he run away or something? Oh no, he ran away. Yeah. Oh no. After this, does he get, you know, buried in ice after this? Yeah. Or to save him. To save himself and Appa, he... Okay. Mm -hmm. True in a way. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah, I I'm sure that's how he gets the burn. I think so. Yeah. Oh.
Okay, now we have the background information. Yeah, even if he gets the avatar. Oh god. Oh my god! Oh... <laughs> yeah, okay, Th that's the best, I think. Oh boy. Oh my. Whoa, he di directed. <laughs> Okay, get out of that place. Okay, nice. Air bending. Oh, oh, they. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm sad. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Whoa, <laughs> nice. Okay, get in, get in on Appa. <laughs> um, okay. Oh no, this is the repeat that's happening. Can't he use a air pump? I, I don't know. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I was thinking like, can't he make a little air hole or air pocket or something? Oh. Hmm. Ah, there they are. <laughs> right in front of them. Okay. <laughs> oh what <laughs> there you go <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> yeah okay let's get out of this place oh, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's the end. Alright, so, um, just a sec. Yeah, so this episode we get a little bit more of their backstories of Aang and Zuko. Now, here's the thing. Mm, in a way, their story is has a little bit of similarities. Obviously, they're not similar, but it has one similarity, which is how they kind of not ran away, but they... Yeah, like you can call it running away. They like, you know, try to get out of the uh, messy situation. Uh, Aang decided to, you know, like keep that note and run away from there. And that's how he got, you know, uh, uh, got, what do you call it, uh, involved in that storm. And for 100 years, he was frozen. And how Zuko, you know, like after finding out that it was actually his dad he had to fight with, he tried to like you know ask for forgiveness and did not fight <laughs> in a way that's also kind of running away <clears throat> excuse me so this episode kind of you know like how they were actually trying to uh not trying to but they were actually putting one like you know like for for example two to three minutes of ang's backstory then again uh, Zuko's backstory two to three minutes again Aang again Zuko is kind of going back and forth and like you know simultaneously they completed both of their backstories um, I think that was the reason why they were doing it like that because you know like, like I'm, I'm sure it they tried to actually make us understand that how like Zuko and Aang are kind of similar in a way you know both of them have their own goal and how both of them are not like you know like kind of like try to get out of their not responsibility like you know kind of ran away in a in a way because as we saw and after getting to know that he's being transferred to a different air temple he snuck out at during night and how Zuko after getting to know that he had to fight his father decided to not fight so this is how so i don't know i think that's what they were actually intending to do and that's why they were kind of showing it back and forth back and forth like that you know one backstory and then the next backstory it was kind of going like that so yeah and this also shows us how like you know like as i said this before like and it's very apparent now that zuko is not a bad person zuko is not a bad person he, he it's just that the uh you know the the tribe the clan that they are in that is the fire tribe the people there are involved in this war and they are the actual antagonist of this show but zuko is just a part of it you know he he's just involved in it that doesn't mean that he's a bad person so like we can see how he you know like thinks about his uh, fellow soldiers as we saw how he tried to defend the people from being sacrificed unnecessarily in his past that and how in this episode as well uh, he kind of got heated up in this episode but at the same time he himself knew that whatever he was doing was not correct and in the end he helped his uh, you know his soldiers and uh, like you know saved them in a way and you know the guy who was falling down he kind of went up and saved him so all that stuff and uh, yeah now <laughs> we also get to know how Zuko gets the scar in his eye and everyone thought that this was a accident this was an accident some kind of that he got into but it was actually I guess it's his father's doing you know as we kind of saw there and uh, now I don't know like I'm sure like if he decided to fight his father he probably you know like obviously he would have got gotten beaten you know he would not be able to win because that was his dad and I'm sure he is a lot stronger than him like that would obviously happen but who knows maybe if he decided to stand up and fight maybe uh, the dad would have forgiven him for the you know, you know he would not have given him the scar nor would have punished him like that but because he did not do that he said that I will not like you know fight you uh like i have respect for you like maybe that was the reason why the dad became so angry. that was probably the main reason why 
got angry. Like the, the initial reason was obviously him talking out of turn, you know. And uh, that coupled with this, I'm sure he got even more furious. Now I'm not actually sure why he did not like you know fight his dad. Like the only thing that I could understand is that he's very respectful towards his dad. Maybe that was the sole reason why he said that no, I will not fight you. Like you know, he was kind of saying that I apologize. I did not know that uh, talking out of turn actually meant disrespecting you, and I never meant to disrespect you. I'm sorry. And he was kind of, you know, like on his knees and all. I think that is the main reason why he decided not to fight him. You know, like he's like because of his respect, and that's why he, um, you know, like that's why most probably the dad even got more angrier because uh, he thought that that was a sign of cowardice. Whereas, like, I'm sure for Zuko that was not the sign of cowardice. That was just a sign for respect for his dad. So, yeah, most probably. And, uh, in a way, um, I'm not so sure about his dad still. Because we barely even know him. You know how he is. We only got glimpses of him and little bits and pieces of information about him. But the fact that they were actually trying to... Uh, use the new recruits as a sacrificing pawn as sacrificing pawns and his dad did not say anything at that moment kind of rubs me the wrong way you know like just like Zuko got offended at that situation but as I said like we barely know anything about the dad so I cannot actually say how what type of a person he is you know so like obviously like he is the main antagonist here because he's kind of, the leader of the Fire Nation, the Fire Nation who is uh, like, you know, doing all of these wars, uh, attacking other countries and all. So he is the antagonist. I'm sure of it. But still, like his character, his personality, we still don't know anything about it. Because yeah, we I think we don't even we didn't even get uh, introduced to him. We don't even know his face, how he looks like. I think so. Yeah. So that's why. Like, you know, I cannot say anything about the dad, but one thing is sure, I'm sure about is Zuko is a, you know, is a good person. And, uh, like, not all Fire Nation soldiers are bad. Like, uh, like as we saw, you know, the, the, the people who were actually a bit annoyed in this episode uh, on uh, Zuko, they also, in the end, after hearing Zuko's story, sympathized with him and said that, okay, like, so he was kind of going through all of these situations and had never had any idea all this stuff so yeah like in a way those characters are good you know like you know like uh, commander Iro is also good all of them are pretty good the fire nation few people who we are like you know constantly interacting with but uh, yeah that's uh, that obviously does not mean all the people of the fire nation are good so yeah anyways now that was zuko's portion Ang's portion of the story kind of shows us how, you know, now here's the thing, uh, when everyone got to know that he's the Avatar, the children started saying that, oh, like you're the Avatar, you, you will get an unfair advantage. So, you know, like, we should not play with you, all that stuff. Now, <laughs> usually in these type of situations, I think the opposite happens as, uh, like, I, I would have expected them to say like, oh, you, you're the, you know, Avatar, like, you come on my team, we'll win if, you, if we have you. Or something like that i was really surprised they kind of like you know reverse that and they were like talking about how it will be unfair like <laughs> like you know like i i remember like obviously like this is something from when like you know when i was like in school like playing around and like you know football uh they call it soccer yeah yeah and yeah playing soccer and uh you know like all the other uh games that usually have teams uh usually the person who was very proficient in that game people used to say that okay like that guy like he's very good he's in our team you know and the other team would say that, no 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 like why why will you get him like we want him and they would like you know do the toss and stuff kind of do the like uh kind of like you know try to decide who will go in which team and people usually went towards the people who are stronger they wanted them in their team <laughs> damn like this episode i see the complete opposite happening like, you know, they're saying that, oh, Aang, you're so good at this. So, you know, taking you should probably be an unfair advantage to the other team. So, yeah, you're out. Like, 
I was really surprised at that. And I think why they did that is because they are um, like, you know, like they are like, like they're, they're, they're uh, air tribe, they're, they're this type of like, you know, under strict discipline and all of that. So instead of like, you know, like going for that, yeah, you're strong, you're in my team. Instead of going through that approach, they're actually thinking about the other team and saying that okay like if we have you they're going to have an unfair uh, we're going to have an unfair advantage and vice versa so probably you should not play with us you know like i think like they are trying to actually be uh, what do you call it like just you know like you know like morally correct but at the same time you know like they were correct in a way because as they said like you know taking ang in one team will is going to make uh, it very unf like you know it's, it's going to make an unfair advantage for them so they were doing the correct thing in a way but by trying to do that correct thing they were actually alienating ang which in itself is a big like you know is a bad thing that they were doing so technically they're trying to do the good thing but the result that actually happened was they were alienating ang which in itself was not a good thing that they were doing so it's kind of like you know paradoxical but you know like they obviously they're kids i doubt they thought this much about that so they were just like you know like uh like how kids are you know impulsive so yeah and uh, like that kind of like you know made ang sad but at least uh you know he had one person with him but in the end the uh, the other you know the leaders of that place they were not happy with that and they thought that he was pampering Ang and you know so they're going to shift him and Ang got to know that Ang ran away and Ang got sealed in the ice now the thing that Katara said here is that like if you were there you would have probably gotten involved in that situation and you would have probably died as well which I think is pretty true you know if Ang really did not get you know uh, frozen in ice that would have been the end of him because the Fire Nation would have attacked, even though he is the Avatar, he only knew airbending at that moment. So what would he even do? You know, he would have probably gotten captured and killed in the end. So in a way, even if it sounds really bad, you know, but it was actually good that Aang was not there at that moment. It sounds bad, I know, like, you know, it, it seems as if like a very selfish, as, as Aang also probably thought that, like, you know, like Aang also thought that, yeah, like thinking about it's like that, this that thank god i was not there for that moment it's pretty selfish because all my other you know uh, like you know my tribe members they all died and i only got scot free so but still realistically speaking he just survived for a few years uh, for hundreds of years so that he could come back stronger and master all the other techniques and then save the world so yeah that's basically it and uh, as we saw like you know the the person who was like, the old man the fisherman he's kind of hating on ang in the beginning but like like most of the, like you know like that's just normal people like people usually try to judge things without even knowing what the other person's circumstances are they judge people by their cover you know they don't even bother thinking about like oh maybe he really is in a tough situation maybe i should not have been so harsh with him so usually the like, people are just like that people like you know they'll just they're just going to see you for like you know a couple of minutes and they'll judge you for that without even knowing what you're even going through that's human so basically that's what happened here but in the end, at least he realized his mistake and said that, okay, you know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, you know, I was a bit too harsh with you. So that's the, you know, like, that's the best thing here. Because, like, you cannot stop people from judging you by looking at you. Like, that's impossible. But it's good if the person who actually judges you by looking at you realizes in the end that, yeah, probably I should not have done that. If they really made a mistake in judging you. If they're correct in judging you, that's all, I, I don't know, like, that's okay, I guess. Like, you know, if you, if you really are a bad person and he says that, okay, like, you're a bad person. 
ah, that's okay, I guess. But if you know, like if if you are really trying your best and you're not getting the result, and suddenly a person comes out and says that, oh, you, you, you really try, like you know, you, you're not even doing anything, like you know, like you, like like what are you even doing? Like that's like judging a book by its cover. Like that's bad. Because the person does not know your circumstances and he's just judging you looking at you. So that's bad. Like that's what I'm saying, you know? Like if the person in the end who judges you realizes that yeah, I was wrong and apologizes for it, it's okay. Because like you know, we are humans, we make mistakes and we are going to judge others, even if we know that that's not correct too. But the correct thing is to actually realize your mistake in the end and make amends for it. And that's what the old man did here. So, yeah, he's, he's a good person. And, uh, okay. And another thing that happened here is, as Ang said in the end, I should not dwell on my past. You know? I should not dwell on my past. I should move beyond it and, you know, look at the future. Similarly, at this, like, in the same way, Zuko also realized that I should not like you know like get too heated up with my past and as he saw like ang going out of that place he decided to not focus on that and focus on his you know his his people his subordinates and he said that okay like leave leave the avatar now our first priority here is to save ourselves so both of them learned in their own way you know like ang learned to not to dwell in his past zuko learned not to like you know get too like you know heated up about thinking about like you know uh, only like you know fussing about his past and at least look at the people who were beside him who are actually trying to help him and not get like you know shackled to his past like in a way both of them learned their own lessons both of them learned their own lessons regarding their past and both of them are now kind of looking at their future which is good so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to episode number 10 and episode number uh episode number 11 and episode number 12 of after the last airbender so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel i already haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of after the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day